This work in particular is important because when you think about everything that's happening in the bay, this is really the currency, the ecological currency that matters is the eggs on the bay. Nothing else really matters to the birds. Um, you know, you can have shifts in habitat, you can have predation, you can have um, gulls, you can have things like that, competitors. But really what matters to the birds the most is how fast can they put on weight and get to the Arctic. And that is primarily a function of how many eggs there are on the beaches and how available they are to the birds. What we do is we go out to each beach at low tide. We take 20 core samples in each lane. So that's approximately one core sample per square meter of beach that we're sampling. And we do this randomly. Um, and then what we do is we put the samples into Ziploc baggies and we bring them back to the house where we will first go through um, and put them through a series of sieves. And the horseshoe crab eggs are approximately between two and three millimeters, so that keeps all of our eggs inside our last sieve. We then take the um, sand that's left in the last sieve and put it into one of our counting trays. And um, we go through the entire sample by hand and count each of the little horseshoe crab eggs that are in it. A red knot needs to eat 21,000 eggs per day um, for approximately two to three weeks. Um, depending on where it's feeding. And in order for that to happen efficiently, for the bird to be able to find their food in six hours or to be able to find enough food in two weeks, there needs to be approximately 200,000 eggs per square meter on the beaches. And we're currently um, between three and 5,000 for a 10-year average.